it's Saturday. It's sunny. It's sunny. It's February. We're at Chester Zoo for the first time since last year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, a bit of it was December last year, but we're back. Let's go and see what's changed and what's new. It's a very busy zoo today. It's literally the uh, first first day of half term and first nice weather of the year, really. Mm -hmm. It's like today's a popular day to renew your uh, membership. Or adopt something. Or adopt something, yeah. The uh, cast iron animals are back to being cast iron animals again, no stickers on them. Busy start today, yeah. lots of queues at the entrance. The zoo is very popular today. We're and this. we're doing this. Big cats made with Lego bricks. It's like the perfect combination for me. Zoos and Lego. All it needs is craft beers and I'm done. There's ten Lego brick and ding animals hidden, hidden around the zoo. That you have to find. So we gotta go and find them all. Yeah. Apparently the first one's in here is a spider monkey. <laughs> the person on the uh, entrance <laughs> recognises us from her video. <laughs> Did you think it'll be by the spider monkeys? Could be. We found the first one. It's a spider monkey. So there's also a competition that we're going to have a go at in which you can actually enter to win one of the figures. So you have to fill in. Because we need more Lego. Um, these questions? You have to answer the question. I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to show you one here because if you want to enter, then you can have the fun as well when you visit the zoo. The monorail's here. I'm also doing some photography today because I've not done that for quite a while and I'm well out of practice. And we've got some Ellie's in the pond. Long barrels get a Oh yeah. So if you're looking for the Lego figures, which are all until April, head over the bridge, Elephant Bridge, down the hill and across towards where Dragon's in Danger is. Where the ice station is. Where the ice station is. <laughs> And when you get to Dragons in Danger, you can see the big cats of Lego uh, there. It's probably going to be very busy in here today. This is the first weekend it actually opened on Valentine's Day. When's it on till? 30th of April. 30th of April. I knew it was April, I just wasn't sure when. This is the area where in the past they would have had the dinosaurs and the bugs. The tiger's under there somewhere. <laughs> wow, he's huge. He's supposed to be like that, is that? Yeah. We've got some tiger cubs. Look at these. Very cool. There's a yawny one there. <laughs> and here's the panther. Each one has a bit of information about the build, how long it took, how many bricks. Cool. It's very cool. Yeah. To give you an idea, some of the larger sets that I've got at home have only got 4,000 bricks in them, so the castle's about 4,000 and something, I'm not sure. This has 79,000 bricks in it. <laughs> yeah, this one has a barrier, so we can get a proper view. It's amazing. Even the locks Lego as well. Snow leopard is amazing as well, and with snow. <laughs> I do love the detail in the tail as well, but thick like a snow leopard tail. We have a lynx here. The lynx seems quite big compared to the snow leopard. Yeah, the snow found some cheetah cubs. I have a feeling that cheetah's features are just a little bit too dainty to capture in Lego. Yeah, that one's got the grumpy face. It does have, I do like that they put the stripes in there. Really cool. Look at that. Cheetah and the antelope. Yeah, my concern was that people are going to be climbing over all of them but fortunately it's just the tiger at the beginning that they allow you to climb on and I think other people were climbing on as they shouldn't but it's not been bad since then. Caracals. 
Look at these. Do you want to read the facts then to me? Fantastic. One of my favourites. It's a clouded leopard. They capture the faces really well. Yeah, they do. The leopards do that. It's missing some whiskers. Yeah. And some lion cubs. Naughty little lion cubs. And the last one is a lioness. It's another one you can get photos on. Anyway, let's see what the brick stop is now. You enjoy that? I did, it was very good. It was very good. Very busy, but very good. My favourite was the cheetah. The favourite was, yeah, the cheetah was very good. I also like the I quite like the snow did, snow did. The snow leopard, to be honest. And they got clouded and snow leopard. Oh yeah, this is amazing. I think we need to get a selfie here. <laughs> Lego in the zoo, it's like they knew my weakness. Is there anything exclusive? Lego everywhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't have a Lego fit than a ball. These are interesting. They're not Lego, but they're interesting. Oh, yeah, we got that tiger. <laughs> Chameleon. We have a beluga flying over. It's not the big one. That's apparently maybe taking off it's at some point today. Yeah, it has been over, yeah. I've seen photos of it flying over the zoo. But that's just a regular one. And we are now at the, the front of the cafe and <laughs> the Madagascar playground. The Lego shop was absolute bedlam. <laughs> it's wander up by the lazy lions. You can see one of them over there lying down. She's eating her dinner. Now, oh, two of them. Kibori and Kamari. They're very grumbly because they've got food. Oh, look, it's right here. So I think the decision with the the other Lego things is we're going to try and get some of them today and possibly come back, aren't we? Yeah, because it's all here to the April we'll be back. Well, yes, we will. Before then, so. That sounds like a good idea, because something to look forward to when we come back as well. All right, we're going to head over towards Islands. We were going to eat in the oak field, but we didn't book anything and it's busy. But look, people are using the treetop thing. We're going to cut through the miniature monkeys and I can see some capybara. Mm -hmm. And get down to islands this way. We haven't been this way for a little while. Not much to see in the monkeys today. They're probably up in the trees hiding and laughing at us. Yeah, you have to walk with your ears. Got to look with your ears. <laughs> yeah, you basically hear them squeaking. You can try and find them. I can see a dick dick. There at the back. Behind, beside the tree. Oh, yeah. oh. oh hey! And then they come running out. Baby. That one the oh, yeah. And we accidentally found another Lego oh. figure a zebra. The baby crown crane is all grown up, well, sort of grown up. <laughs> He's a bit scruffy looking down there. Yeah, the crown's sort of like a bad herd ever. A scruff bag. This bit can be a bit of a hit and miss part of the zoo. On a sunny day, you get some good zebra views. On a cooler day. Yeah, they're all on the stand off up there. The herd standing, sorry. You can get close to the herd standing though. Yes. <laughs> it's also very quiet, which is nice today. Oh yeah. It's not coming out today. New.
So this is actually our first visit to the zoo since the fire unfortunately broke out on the 15th of December. Um, at Monsoon Forest over the back there. Uh, all the, the large animals, the apes, uh, the orangutans, the gibbons, the monkeys are all safe. They do mention though that they, did, they are unable to account for some small uh, insects, frogs and birds. Which is very sad. But the zoo is now working to restore Monsoon Forest. So hopefully soon. Well, maybe not soon, but hopefully at some point in the future we'll be able to get back in there and have a look again. Anyway, we are now going to get some food because we're both quite hungry. We're going to go and check out Island's restaurant. What's it called? The Monado Street Kitchen. Ow, I remember the name of something. The sign did also mention that the gharials who are very popular are in this half of monsoon forest and they're still safe and in good health which is good to know. Zoodok is very much aware that food is in the area and also nearly took my arm off when she landed at speed. And Zoodok's boyfriend just centipeded my hair. <laughs> Cam has just gone off to get some cutlery if possible. Um, we got some, Jem got a burger and some fries, and I got some fries with gravy on them. <laughs> I can't even remember what I ordered. Oh, that was it. It was fries covered in gravy, cheese, and onion straws. With crispy onion, anyway. Let's see what this is like. How was your burger? No, the burger was actually really Okay. Fries were cold, but the burger yeah. was really nice. Mine was, uh, Half a tray of cold, soggy chips covered in gravy and cheese. The gravy was quite nice. Well worth five quid. Yeah, I can't in all, in all honesty <laughs> recommend eating in any of the restaurants in this zoo at the minute. Except the Oakfield. Except the Oakfield. We've we try. We used to eat weekly. We probably eat once every six months now. And to be honest, for me, each time it's worse than the last. Mm -hmm. the staff are great. No, no problems with the staff. Oh, no, no. Just the quality of the food is not very good. But there Just the choice. So, there was no choice. Have you a vegan? Nothing at all. There was no veggie burger. There was no veggie hot dog. Um, there was a flatbread where it came with coleslaw and the bread made out of it. Nothing was marked whether it was vegetarian or vegan. And we say that as people who weren't vegetarian. Uh, any of them things. Yeah. <laughs> should care for all diets. And I grumble because the menu doesn't actually tell you what's in the food. So you don't know if things have pickle on them. You don't know if things have mayo on them things were coming with stuff that doesn't say. So I ended up with those chips because I wasn't sure what else I was getting otherwise and it was far too busy to sort of hold up the queue asking which is probably something we should have done. But never mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm still hungry but I'm not going to eat in the zoo again. Uh, we, yeah. <laughs> we've got We've got a big dinner planned for tonight so we'll be fine. But we're going to go and have a wander around and see what else we can see. Stop grumbling. Two whinges. Jem spotted some Lego. Let's see if we can find it. Well, I said that. Jem spotted it, so we know where it is already. Ah. Either that's a bird very close to the front of the enclosure, or it's made out of Lego. Let's go and have a look. Here we have a Lego vulture. We decided to come back where, where we were hoping it might be a little bit quieter. It's still quite busy here though. There's a lot of construction going on over there. I can smell giraffes. And I, yes, I can smell hoppy giraffes. Lots of construction. Ooh, exciting. The giraffe enclosure is to the right of us here. And the giraffes are all around the other side. Look, Gemma, there's a shed. It's the bee shed, isn't it? The bee shed. Some walking letter and we are now by the Jaguar house. We've come out of the Jaguar house in a very odd angle. And also there's a burr in it which is a story. Mm. <laughs> it's because his other half's got a baby and she doesn't like him. Yeah. He's a bit rough with the baby. So he's way down at the back over there. He's just uh, gone behind the tree. Of course he has. There's a burr here. It's Bernie Burr. There we go. Now we're at the front of Spirits of Jaguar. No slots. Gemma's furious. <laughs> oh, it's busy in here. And the reason it's busy is because the sloths are on the move. There's a sloth right above me. Oh, 
Well, I was just about to show you chimpanzees, but they all went inside. <laughs> Um, Tina's birthday party. It is Tina's birthday today, yeah. She's ten. Ten? When we first joined as members, she was about three. <laughs> yeah. She has a little white bum tail, didn't she? She did. So we're accidentally not doing half bad on these uh, Lego characters. we found the orangutan now. Look at that. That's good. This is something we haven't seen before. The Benet and orangutans are out. Emma's asking me if I've seen the size of Willy. No comment. The otters are in their indoor enclosure, which is nice. We may have missed one of the Lego ones that's quite close to where we are, so we're going to backtrack a little bit round by the penguins and see if we can find it. It's going to be busy around here. And then we have one more we want to get to there, and then we'll come back and get the rest next time. Walking around here, it's a good chance to see the uh, new section which is due to open hopefully imminently. Maybe? Question mark? <laughs> It's been a while coming, but it's looking good. I got embarrassingly close to this one before I realised it was here. We have a Humboldt penguin. So the reason we're definitely not going to do all the Lego characters today, the Lego animals, is because one of them's at the Tigers. And we are basically as far away from the Tigers as you can be now. Oh, and the penguin talks until it's getting very busy. Yeah. There's a teepee. Oh, it's, like a, it's, it's got drink. hot drinks and a bar in it. Cool. Nice. Would have been nice to know about that earlier. <laughs> we are going to go and find the red panda. We assume it's a red panda. The Lego one, I mean. And then I think, owing to the crowds, we're going to make our way to the front. Oh, oh, it's to three. Yeah, we've had a decent uh, good three hours here now. Looks like my attempt to do photography has uh, met its end today. The sun's gone in <laughs> and it's starting to get just a little bit cold. Very brightly coloured red panda. That's cool. Right, should we make tracks? I'm getting cold. Quick look in the shop on the way out. As usual. You can see red pandas though. Bush red pandas. <laughs> I've just seen red pandas. Lego ones. These are all the bush dogs. Look at them all. Stand up. And we found another one by accident. <laughs> um, <laughs> ring tailed lemur this time. Kind of makes sense. The lemurs aren't too far away from No, the no, we're just by Lemur Islands now. Can you And of course, the best Lego figure who saved the last with a Duplo giraffe. Apparently, giraffes can't dance. I'm offended at that suggestion. I think they can dance fantastically. Let's have a look in the store. There's some more Lego here. It is just like they've looked and gone. Mark's coming. Put Lego out. I also did actually do the survey on the way out so that my thoughts on the food situation were. 
heard to the people who look after the zoo and stuff like that. Because hey, if they don't know, they can't improve things. Oh, no new t-shirts yet. See, I do like the hoodie, but I'm already wearing my Twy Cross Zoo hoodie, so I've already got one. <laughs> very brief visit to the zoo shop, because it was also very busy, unsurprisingly. Anyway, we are going to go now. Did you have a nice day? Yeah, it was pretty good. I enjoyed the Lego part. Um, it was busy, but first day of half term, so that should be no surprise to it was really like just certain pathways like yes blocks. yes of course and people perhaps not realizing that they're in the way <laughs> yeah because it's something to chat with the friends and just yeah yeah the but the paths are very narrow as well so yes it it's not like an american uh, theme park which we've been used to in the last last month where there was lots of room uh yeah it was good uh, so we'll be back probably in a couple of weeks as well uh, maybe things will have calmed off then <laughs> it's not half term uh, so we can get another look at those Lego sets and um, go and finish off our... We've only got three to find Yeah, we've only got three it? other th questions to answer on our little farm so we can win. Well, potentially win. <laughs> An animal? Yeah. A Lego animal? Yep. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.